Hey guys, it's Stephanie with Simmerkey and welcome to another speed build. Now, this is a Victorian home that I built for my good friend Brenda. Shout out to Brenda. She is one of my friends on Facebook and she views some videos on my channel and we're in a fun group together and yeah, Brenda, Brenda's awesome. I don't know what else I can say about her. I talk to her pretty much every day. So, huge shout out to Brenda. Uh, she asked me to build this house for her and of course, I'm very flattered and honored that she would want me to build a house for her sims family and this one is it's a speed build yes normally i do house tours for homes that i built for someone else however i don't know this one was a little bit more an interesting of a build than the stuff that i normally do and it has a foundation and a victorian column um yeah, I don't know. I wanted, I just, I felt like doing a speed build. What can I say? <laughs> so here I am just kind of laying the foundation. And w the main feature I wanted of this home was this octagonal tower, which I've been doing a lot of lately. But I mean, where else is it more appropriate than in a Victorian home? I mean, that that's probably like the best place that you could put one of those octagonal, octagonal, large columns. <laughs> so yeah, there, there it is. And now I also wanted a cute wraparound porch. So obviously I added that. Now, okay, Victorian homes are, I don't know. I don't know all the features of them. I do kind of think of little dollhouses though. And mm, yeah, like these little bay windows. There's certain things that I definitely associate with them. Now I know they obviously can range from large to small. And I sort of wanted this to be a small one. But as I started building and adding rooms and things that Brenda requested, which wasn't much. Like, honestly, she did not ask for much. She just gave me a few guidelines to go off of. She said her favorite colors were red and purple. She wanted a room for her pets and uh, a media room. I think that's all she really asked for. She kind of asked for a basement, but... I didn't, I didn't put one, but I did put a cool attic, so I, I thought maybe that was good enough. Um, but what I was saying is it ended up being a little bit bigger than I planned, but that's fine. That's totally fine. And I did also add, like, these little diagonal um, corners to the foundation, especially around the deck, and that's really easy to do because there's actually a whole separate uh, tool for making diagonal shapes for foundations and decks and stuff. So yeah, that wasn't, that wasn't too hard. I did. Later on, you'll see, I do try to add, try to add a basement that was, oh, that proved too difficult because I had already built the shell of the house and figured out where the stairs were going. And then it was too hard to try to squeeze the basement in after that. But this first floor has plenty, plenty of good stuff. And this is that grand staircase that goes to the second floor. I guess I could have probably left it six wide, but I don't know. I thought it would be cute to add a little hallway and a little storage room back here. So I just put a little a little trunk a little prop trunk thingy to make it look like storage honestly I didn't do much with that room it's just kind of kind of a little little hidden room feature it's not really hidden that made no sense anyways on to the backyard <laughs> oh she did ask for a hot tub and possibly a pool but since since the house ended up being bigger bigger than I hoped uh the backyard got smaller and smaller but that's that's all right there's a hot tub at least that's something personally a hot tub is all I need I mean pools are nice and all but that's a lot of maintenance <laughs> a lot of maintenance but it's the sim so who really cares um oh I forgot to do the ceilings and I'm trying so hard to remember ceilings so instead of trying to go room by room I just deleted a wall in each of the rooms so that I can place it to cover an entire room at once so those ceiling tiles will will be throughout the house and not just annoying me going room by room trying to figure it out i think i got them all i don't think i missed anything i don't know you could usually tell in my screenshots when i miss something up but that one's all right i think <laughs> and i used a different roof than i normally use on the tower i don't know i thought that one was cute by just making it really long and extended it, i thought it looked more like a proper victorian roof or a proper octagonal shaped I don't know I don't know I don't know <laughs> it's a thing guys I did a thing <laughs> and I really wanted the the roof to come out over the porch and I can never figure out a good way to do that so I just started deleting walls and using columns and walls and things to make it work I don't know I'm me trying to explain something 
<laughs> it's difficult because I don't have a technique. I just move things around and click on things until until it looks good, until I figure it out. And people do compliment me on my building a lot, which I really, really appreciate. But honestly, I don't think I'm that good. I think I'm I think I'm good. I just don't think I'm amazing. I don't think anything that I do is really um uh what am I trying to think of? Innovative? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but I just I practice a lot and that's that's how I learn how to build. That's the best way to learn how to do anything. But speaking of that, I am going to introduce a house house a tutorial house. I'm looking at a house. That's why I said house. <laughs> I'm going to introduce a tutorial series to this channel. I already have two little tiny tutorials. One is how to do a beach wedding slash how to build on a community lot. And the other is how to install Pose Player. So I'll actually, I'll link those for you guys. So if you have any ideas of something you would like me to make as a tutorial, please leave me a comment below. I will collect all of the ideas so I can work on them little by little. And yeah, just make that a new series on the channel. All right. So I I decided to make this house green and I, I realized I use green a lot for builds. Well, particularly, particular, particularly, oh my gosh, why can't I talk? I, there will never be a video that I just get all the words right. That'll never happen. Anyways, particularly for the outside, I tend to use a lot of green. And I think, I'm not sure why. I, I always want to use white, but it never looks quite quite right and I do really like the look of the siding I thought that was absolutely perfect for this type of build um but I definitely need to play with more exteriors I feel like I'm getting kind of stale in that aspect and I definitely need to use some different windows <laughs> I pretty much used a lot of the same ones over and over again so well this house has too many windows I can't remember if I went and deleted some but if not that's okay. I mean, really, what's too many windows? I honestly wouldn't even ma mind an all-glass house. Like, oh, okay, I did remove a few. I wouldn't mind an all-glass house. I don't know. Of course, that's more on the modern side, but uh, maybe windows? Windows are good. I like windows. <laughs> and I don't like curtains, so that's why you never really see me use curtains in my build. Although, this would have been the perfect one to do one because uh, it would just look more Victorian and vintage and I guess I missed the ball on that one, so oopsie. <laughs> um, but there's there's lots of natural lighting, which is great. Lots of natural lighting in this house. And oh my gosh, the symmetry is going to forever bother me, but uh, my OCD has gone crazy with those three windows and then the group of four, but it's the only way I could really configure it without... Again, putting a million, a million windows. <laughs> so now I'm adding a cute little doggy house back here and I wanted it to resemble the Victorian home. So I made it with the same color and the same roof color and it just looks like a little miniature version of the house, which is super cute. And now I'm adding the hot tub area, which I don't do a whole lot with, but I did add the little terrain paint to make it look like a path heading towards it and then I wanted this fence to look like it had open doors because that little one square narrow pathway was too narrow so I just kind of put them at an angle there to make it look like the gate was open I hope I hope you saw that because it went really fast there you go that's a much better look at that and I'm adding lots of plants and landscaping I didn't get too creative with the landscaping either I did use a lot of it but it, it tends to be just a lot of the same flowers over and over again which I also go around the entire wraparound porch and add these beautiful purple flowers and the sunflowers which the sunflowers look great because they stay up right above the deck and you can see them kind of at all angles of the porch which I just I think is adorable very cute but I'm, I'm gonna cut out some of the landscaping because it was just a lot of repetitiveness all right so back to the inside of the home I'm closing up all those walls that I tore open before and I'm placing lighting everywhere oh and also I forgot to mention I put one piece of furniture in each room to signify what it is so that I don't forget and that's especially handy with a large build like this one or if it's something that I'm just working on a little bit at a time so that when I come back I don't forget what room is what or I don't duplicate a lot of rooms it's just a cute little trick that I use to remember what is what <laughs> Oh my gosh, trying to figure out where to put the second set of stairs was kind of hard, kind of hard. There wasn't really a great place, so they end up being awkwardly in the middle. Ugh, it's it's the best I could do, though. I don't know. I tried to build walls around it, so it didn't look completely out of place, but yeah, that was 
that was rough. That, that took me quite a bit of time. <laughs> and the entire house took me actually four hours. So of course, since it's been condensed down to about a 25 to 30 minute video, but wow, yeah, four hours it took, which I feel like my builds are getting longer, not shorter, but that's all right. I will admit though, I definitely spent a lot more time on the outside of this home than the inside. And uh, it shows, it shows, I'll show you towards the end. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. I could just tell you. I forgot to do the dining room. I don't know how I forgot to do the dining room. That's a super important part. I guess I just saw the table in there and the wallpaper and the flooring, which I normally do it room by room, but in older homes, it's usually the same flooring throughout the entire house. They didn't really, um, I don't know, they didn't really have like the, the money and the material to do different carpets in every room and different floors, wooden floors in every room. So I just kind of picked that basic reddish brown one and put it in all the rooms except for the ones that had carpet. And the ones that did have carpet, I put the same carpet in all the rooms. The only thing I really changed up was the wallpaper and the paint because that's that's a super easy fix. Most people can do that realistically without having to tear up the whole house. But since I normally don't do that, <laughs> I just kept in my head thinking that the dining room was finished already and it never was. It never was. So, ooh, you'll have to add a dining room if you download this house, which by the way, you totally can. You totally can. It'll be in the exchange. Yes, the exchange. <laughs> the Sims 3 exchange. I will have a link in the description below. And Brenda, I'm sorry I forgot your dining room. I am so, so sorry. <laughs> And now we're moving on to the, the flooring and the wallpaper I was just talking about so you could actually see it. You can see what I'm talking about because I was talking about it before it was happening. Oops. <laughs> uh, but this red wallpaper with the purple border was perfect. It was already one of the presets. I didn't have to customize anything. And as I, as I said earlier, Brenda told me her favorite colors were purple and red. So, oh gosh, they were just perfect. The perfect wallpaper. So I continued to that continued that through the living room and the hallways and upstairs in the hallways. And of course, can't forget the outside lighting. I think most of my houses, when I first started building, I would completely forget that. And I would also forget the landscaping. So I try to remember, I definitely do more with the landscaping than I used to. And I definitely try to remember the lighting because that's, that's important. It's nothing's worse than it becoming nighttime and your Sim can't see anything outside. So Oh, oh, more sunflowers, yay. <laughs> so lights and sunflowers, that's that's what I've got to talk about. Um, bushes, lights, sunflowers, bushes. <laughs> and a trash can and a mailbox, the necessities. <laughs> Moving back to the inside of the house here, I'm just probably going to start, yeah, see, that wallpaper's so cute in the dining room, I can't forget it. I can't believe I forgot it. I forgot it. Ah, that's okay. You could just add some chairs, which are really not that hard. Here I am placing the wallpaper throughout the rest of the house and I, t I kept it very, very light pastel muted colors. I didn't, I didn't think that like a bright color would be appropriate in a house like this unless it was really tied into the decor, but I wanted to keep it very traditional. And this is the upstairs. Oh man, that moved super fast. Never mind. This is the first floor again. <laughs> the first floor and I use those lights from by debug which the fixtures disappear in live mode and all you see is the lighting from it which is awesome but I do include a lamp or a ceiling light in every single room so that you could still control them in live mode now on to some of the furnishing I think yeah I think it's furnishing for the rest of the video now the the building is pretty much done the doors are done the wallpaper is done so this living room is plenty big it is a nice little size I thought it was going to be too small but it turned out to be perfect so we have those two beautiful couches and now I'm playing with the coffee tables trying to create a larger one since there is such a large gap in between the two the two uh couches I wanted the coffee table to be pretty substantial to fill up that extra gap so I put four little ones together and I think it came out pretty nicely I also added another little dresser over here just some for some extra storage and decoration now there's not a tv in this living room in fact I don't even know if there's a tv in the entire house Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> the things you forget when you look back. Oh, what am I talking about? You don't need a TV in the living room. We have a gigantic movie theater upstairs. <laughs> one giant TV. Oh, and I think there's one in the nursery. So yeah. Yay. I guess I didn't forget. 
And I really tried to put a fireplace in here, but since I didn't include it in the floor plan, like when I was building it, I didn't account for it. There just wasn't any wall that it made sense on. Otherwise, the chimney would have went up through the other floors and spilled onto the porch. And I don't know, it just, it didn't fit. I would have loved to have fireplaces, but in retrospect, what can you do? <laughs> uh, I didn't want to rebuild that roof. That roof was so tough. <laughs> Now moving on to the kitchen. The kitchen's probably maybe the brightest and sunniest room in this whole house. I definitely kept more beiges and that minty green color, uh, sort of yellowy, but not quite. And we have this cute little breakfast table. You know, that's probably another reason I forgot to do the dining room because I already made an eat-in area in the kitchen. So I didn't forget a place for your Sims to eat. I just totally forgot the formal dining room. Well, what can I say? Things happen. <laughs> so on the counter here, just adding a few little appliances. We have the microwave and the coffee maker thingy, drink maker. Um, and now onto the pets rooms. Since I didn't know specifically what pets she wanted, it, I don't know. I, I lost my creativity a little bit here too. I have to admit this isn't my best build. I'm really sorry. But the, the pet rooms have beds and toys and pet dishes. So even though the walls are kind of blank and boring, it's functional. And Brenda, you can add some of your own touches in this house for sure since I didn't I didn't fill up every single tiny usable space as I normally do. I figured with the Victorian home, it can go either way, you know, it can go either way. But, you know, like I said, clutter and decoration weren't really my main concern in this build. For me, it was the structure of the home. So, again, that's why I made it a speed build. And that's why I maybe didn't pay as much attention to the detail on the inside as I should have. <laughs> I was just really focused on building that exterior, which I'm really proud of. I really like it. I hope, I hope you guys like it, too. <laughs> and, oh, this is like... I guess a, a guest bedroom. She only asked for two bedrooms, so I made a guest bedroom, a master bedroom, and a nursery. I think that's all. So this is here on the main floor. Just just perfect for guests or maybe maybe even a teenager or a young adult sim or maybe if the parents live with or the grandparents live with the parents that'd be a great room for them I don't know it's just it's a bonus room <laughs> and speaking of bonus room this is the attic and this is the cute game room so we have a chess table the art easel a drafting table and I think maybe a little bookcase I also put in here I can't remember oh the, the little science thingy <laughs> I don't know how I forgot already. I literally just built this like the day before I recorded the voiceover. I don't know. I have a bad memory. It gets worse as I get older. <laughs> I'm only in my 30s, but I I forget so much. I forget so much. Oh, one thing I should mention, that popcorn machine is store content. I believe it's the only store content item I used in this build. Oh, never mind. The little nectar thingy. Little nectar bottle with the wine glasses are also store content. Um, but other than that, I don't think I used any. So a couple tiny, tiny little things will disappear if you don't own those items. But yeah, it, it doesn't affect anything at all. <laughs> so now I'm adding plenty of seating. Oh, she did. Brenda did tell me that she wanted a place to entertain guests. So obviously that movie theater is a great place to do that. But I also wanted to include some seating so they have more of a conversational place to just sit down and relax and read and chat and have drinks and eat good food. So I included this, this nice seating area. Oh, and there's another TV there too. See, oh my gosh. I did not forget the TVs. There's like three of them now. <laughs> what was I thinking when I said there weren't any? See, that goes back to my memory issue. I just forget everything. <laughs> or maybe I just play too much Sims. Do you think that's my problem? Too much Sims? <laughs> I forget what I build because I build so much. Uh, that's probably more more of, of why. That's probably the real answer here. <laughs> but on to the nursery. I just made a big cute nursery. I also use the word cute a lot. I need to come up with some more adjectives. So <laughs> I will try that. I will try that, I promise. But it has these minty, light bluish, greenish walls, which are bright, but muted at the same time. That doesn't make any sense. I don't know. It's, it's a nice color. It's one of my favorite colors. I tend to use it a lot. And now I'm adding a couple more bathrooms. This home has plenty of bathrooms. I think it might even have more bathrooms than it does bedrooms, but that's okay because especially, especially if it's a house used for entertaining, you're going to want your guests to be comfortable and have a place to use the restroom, even if someone else is using it. And if you have any 
kids or grandkids staying over using that extra bedroom downstairs or even just sleeping on the couches. They all all have a place to get ready and take a shower and not have to worry about any of that. And now I'm working on the master bathroom, which, uh, which again, I lost, oh gosh, I lost so much creativity in this build, I feel like, with, with the decorating. I must have been so exhausted from the building that I just gave up. <laughs> well, I didn't give up, let's not say that. It's, I still like it, I still like it, but the bathrooms are all the same, the toilets are all the same color, the towels are all the same, <laughs> the mirrors in the bathroom are all the same. Uh, bathrooms, you can only do so much with a bathroom, that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> Oh, I'm a liar. There's not a second bedroom. There's a second, second bedroom. A second, third. Mm. <laughs> All right. So there's two guest bedrooms, the parents' room, and the nursery. Yeah. Well, I guess maybe one of them doesn't have to be a guest bedroom. The problem is Brenda didn't tell me exactly what Sims she has. She didn't tell me exactly what Sims are going to go in this house. She just said she wanted a two bedroom and she ended up getting, what, four if you count the nursery. So that's why I'm just not making any sense. I don't know. Usually, usually I have more of a focus and I'm building specifically for a Sim that's going to live in there. And yeah, that's... Oh. That's why, that's why I'm not making any sense. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is definitely the master bedroom right here. I added plenty of bookshelves because there was so much extra space. I didn't really know to, what to do with it. But you can never have too many bookshelves. Never, never, never. You could put books up there and trinkets and just little things on display. Um, what else can you put on a bookshelf? I don't know, movies, CDs, anything really, <laughs> anything really. So you can never, you can never have too many. And this is a cute little, oh God, there's that cute word again. This is a sweet little seating area <laughs> with some wicker chairs. And I'm using more, more wicker on the inside of builds just because I think they look very, um, whimsical, I guess. <laughs> look at me trying to come up with adjectives. I don't know. They just, they look, they look good indoors sometimes too. Don't want to forget to use the wicker pattern. And now I've moved on to the hallway. Again, it's a very large, long hallway with that big grand staircase and the second staircase. So I didn't want it to look completely empty. So I'm just adding little portraits and wall art and plants and dressers and a couch, <laughs> a little couch, which makes no sense to be at the top of the stairs. But what can I say? Oh, I started to run out of money here. I don't know. My Sim had a certain amount of money, I guess. I don't remember what I did. She had obviously more than the starter money because I started to run out close to 200 simoleons, which, or 200,000 simoleons, which luckily I stayed right under that amount. And Gosh, we've already moved into the screenshots. Yay, screenshots. <laughs> so you can see a little bit better what I did. It's not going so fast right now. So here's a better shot of the kitchen with the sunflowers on the table. Um, I only really took a screenshot of one bathroom because like I said, they're all they're all pretty much the same. This is the guest bedroom downstairs. And then this is the second bedroom upstairs, which you can use for the kids or whatever. Uh, there's a closer shot of the grand staircase and the hallway on the second floor and now we're going into the nursery there's a little turtle block set which is just so cute cute uh i said it again uh <laughs> and here's the master bedroom there will be some more screenshots but it is time for that outro so here we go <laughs> guys thank you so much for watching brenda i hope you enjoyed this build i hope you enjoy this house and i hope your sims like it and i really appreciate you guys watching please 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 don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss my next video i promise they will get a little bit more creative next time <laughs> with the furnishing at least i hope oh i better not make promises i can't keep <laughs> but i'm super proud of the house and the outside of this i i love it i'm i did good i did good patting myself on the back <laughs> guys i hope you have a wonderful wonderful day and i will see you next time bye bye brenda